what is the cheapest lock that you can put on your travel trailer or your RV for its battery? Well, a little bit ago, I did a video in regards to cutting the $7 bar lock that goes around one of these battery boxes. I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well as the end card so you can check that out to see just how easy it is to cut that off. We're gonna go a little bit cheaper and a little bit stronger as well. So let's get to that roll intro. Well, what we're working with today is this piece of aluminum. It is a 48 inch ruler that I picked up from Harbor Freight for $5 here. Now, we're already saving $2 off. And the big thing that we got going here is that it is thicker. This is thicker than the bar stock that you can get that's got the holes punched into it. So it makes it harder to cut, as well as taking any snips to it it's gonna be a lot harder to cut through this thicker aluminum. Now, the next part of the equation is in regards to your battery box. Now, if you're looking for something that says, go 10 inches across and 12 inches down, etc., you're not gonna find that here because every one of these battery boxes is going to be different. Let me pull off the lid here and I'll show you what I mean. The lid on this one is very squared, but the lid on this one comes up at an angle over and then it angles again. So if I gave you instructions saying to go 10 inches over, et cetera, you're not gonna get a very form fit on this one to make it that much more secure. Now, most battery boxes will have the groove on the top as well as the grooves on the bottom that you can put the battery bar around to help secure your battery down. The other thing to keep in mind is situations where you've got to work around something that's securing your battery box down. A lot of trailers will have a piece of wood or they'll have a piece of metal going across that in this particular case, I'm actually going to have to put a hole right here for the bar to go down through. And then that way I can secure it to the trailer frame. When talking about securing it down to the trailer frame, that's going to be that much more of a deterrent than being able to just rip this box and everything out of the way and taking it that way. This is not a foolproof security measure to be able to secure your battery box and nobody's ever gonna steal it. It is easy enough to cut through the aluminum as I showed in the other video, but this is an excellent deterrent. And that's the biggest factor here in securing your battery box with one of these. If you can make your battery less appealing to the thief, they're gonna move on to an easier target. That's as simple as it comes. So what we are going to do is show you the bending process for this because it doesn't bend quite as nicely as the steel does. I've had these break on me before, so you do have to take a little bit of caution when you're bending it. Let's get on to that part. As you can see here, I've put the hole into this board as needed for my particular scenario. And I went to the trailer and I measured how far down from the bottom of that hole all the way down as far as I needed to go, which was from the 42 inch mark. Now, one of the benefits of having the ruler is that everything's built in and you can just mark right on this if you needed to. Now I know that the top of the box is going to be just above the 33 line, which as you can see there, it's going to be about uh, 33 until I get to my angle. Now, if you'd like, you could take and mark the other side of this so you know where the bend is going to be. I'm just gonna take my finger, place it right there where I want it, and then flip it around to the edge of the table. The table is going to act as a little bit of a brace to keep that from snapping. Check my spot and you can see I'm actually a little bit off of the 33. So I'm just going to adjust a little bit lower. At this point, I see that things are coming along nicely for the shape of it. I can see that it's gonna end up right down in that groove and we're good to make our next bend.
And there we've got it. That's the shape that I needed. I didn't break any of this by being nice and easy on it. You can see none of the corners are crazy sharp. It's if you try to bend that at that perfect 90 degree, that's when it'll snap. Now this also brings up the next point that you're gonna have to keep in mind when putting this on and working with it. When this goes on, it has to come apart. So not a big deal, they flex easy enough. So I'm gonna slide that through and you can see, you gotta pull it apart to get it down below the bottom of the box. Now this part is gonna be the fun part where you do have to get out the power tools. The ruler, comes with a hole built into it so you can hang it up on, on a pegboard or something. But what we need to do is put another hole in the ruler to put our lock through it. So that way we can keep it that much more secure. All you have to do is figure out where this comes up, mark it with a pencil and drill a hole. The same is true for if you didn't have a piece of wood or something to go through because this there we go. You're just gonna come around and you could either have it overlapping and put the lock through it this way or bring them up like this and put the lock through this way. Either way works, whatever you're comfortable with. I've got my drill and I have a block of wood here just so that I don't drill into the table after I'm drilling through the aluminum. Now a little bit of a story time here. I have in the past drilled through something and into my hand. So uh, just words to the wise, don't do that. Okay, started off with a smaller hole. And I'm gonna use that as a pilot hole for the bigger one. There we go. And let's drill the bigger one. All right, all wrapped up here, I've got hole drilled through it. A little side note for y'all. You can see all these metal shavings and whatnot. They are not fun to step on so just make sure to clean that up. Get that thrown in the trash so that we don't get hurt later. All right one more time for good measure. I'm just gonna take that, slide it down over the box, pops right over. It contours over these sides where the cords come out so that way it helps prevent this from being slid off the side of the box. On the underside, comes together, and I'll stick one of these drill bits through here, simulating a lock. Right through there, locks into place, and now you have a lot more peace of mind for your battery. I'm really hoping that you found this useful for securing your battery. If you did, please leave a like below, and remember to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and as well as seeing all the adventures that we have coming up and past adventures. Go ahead and check out those videos as well. Again, I'll link the video of cutting the $7 lock and how easy that was so that you can check that out. And I hope you have some awesome luck in being able to secure your battery as well. We'll catch you on another adventure. See ya.